this video we're going to take our first look at creating families here in Revit. Right now we're at our recent files menu and what I'm going to do to access the template for creating our families we're going to come right here to new as well as you can come up here to our file and come down to new and family as well either either way that you like but it's going to bring us to our template file selection menu and from this template file we're going to build a piece of furniture for our first one but very quickly I did want to show you with the electrical fixture for example the different types of families that Revit will give us and the hosting behavior that comes with them so for example you'll see there's actually three different types of families available for electrical fixtures our wall based our ceiling based as well as our independent standalone fixture and the hosting behavior that you choose with the template file that you start from is extremely important because the hosting behavior for a particular family cannot be changed after you select and start from that template so generally if you're not sure whether you want the particular element that you're going to model to be ceiling wall or standalone go ahead and start with standalone it provides the most flexibility you can actually still place it in the ceiling view or along the wall however it will not be hosted against that wall but you can graphically get the representation that you'll be looking for we're gonna start from the furniture which we don't have an issue which is standalone now Revit is gonna load up the family editor which is very similar to the conceptual massing environment that we've explored in earlier videos the first thing I'm going to do now that we're in this family template is I want to tile our windows so I'm just gonna come up here to view come down to my windows panel and I'm just gonna tile the windows the next thing I'm going to hit ZA on my keyboard for zoom all that's just gonna zoom all of my windows that are on screen you'll see I have a floor plan view my elevation front view the elevation right view and a 3d view that are all loaded by default the next most important thing for us to do is to set up let's go ahead and save this file I'm going to do something that's a pretty important best practice I tend to come down to my options menu before I even save this and for maximum backups it's only important we only need one backup and as far as the thumbnail preview I'm gonna change this to my 3d view if it's not up to date it's not gonna matter for us we have not started to lay out our family yet I'm gonna click OK and what this will do is that actually set the 3d view to be the preview and I'm gonna save this to my desktop furniture table I'm just gonna create a simple table for this exercise and I'm gonna click Save and just save this in this video we've set up the template we've picked the template we've gone with the standalone furniture template file we've come in and tiled the windows that we're going to use to set up this to go ahead and lay out with the reference planes and set up our furniture table and we've gone ahead and saved this to be a new family. In the next video, we'll move on to adding our reference planes, constraints, and parameters, and move into beginning to draft our geometry as well. I hope this video is helpful for you.